On these problems, we have to figure out what the equation of the graph is, and it's either going to be a cosine graph or a sine graph. So the first thing we're going to do with these problems is determine if it's a cosine graph or a sine graph. Now, the way that you can tell that is you're going to look at where the graph crosses through. If the graph crosses through 0, 0, that means that it is a sine graph. But if it crosses anywhere else, like this other graph here, if it crosses anywhere else besides 0, 0, it's going to be a cosine graph. So that's how you can tell. You just look at where it crosses. So if it crosses through the origin, it's a sine graph. Otherwise, it's a cosine graph. So this one is going to be a sine graph because it crosses through the origin. So we know that much is true now. Next thing we do we have to do is figure out what the we're we'll figure out what the b is. Now the b involves the period. So we're going to look at what the period is. The period is how long it takes for the cycle to repeat. So for this, it goes up, it goes down, and it ends here, and the cycle starts over again. So one cycle is going to be between zero and four pi. So that's going to be the period. Okay, so now I know that the period is going to be equal to 4 pi. Now, a formula that we use to, to find the period that's related to B is going to be this one. The period equals 2 pi over B. This is the formula that we're going to use. We already know the period. The period is 4 pi. So we're going to do 4 pi equals 2 pi over B. Now we just need to solve for b. We do this by multiplying both sides by b. So we have 4 pi b is going to equal 2 pi. And then we need to divide both sides by 4 pi. When we do this, the pi's are going to cancel. And we can reduce the 2 over 4 to 1 half. So now we know it's a sine graph and the b needs to be 1 half. The last thing we need is the amplitude, which is the A value. You find this by looking at how high the graph goes up to. So it's going to be 2. And also, you need to consider the direction that this is going in, whether it's going to be a positive 2 or a negative 2. Now here, the graph starts at the origin. It goes up. So because it goes up, that means that A is going to be positive which means that my answer is 2 sine 1 half b. And this is the exact equation for this particular graph. Now, if this graph went down, starting by going down and going up like that, then I have to make it negative, and it'd be negative 2. But in this case, the graph is going up, so it's positive 2. So y equals 2 sine 1 half b, and that's the equation for this graph. So let's do another one. This one we talked about earlier, that's going to be a cosine graph because the graph does not go through the origin. So since it does not go through the origin, we know it's a cosine graph. Now we're gonna do the same process as we did before. We first need to find out what the period is. So the graph, was, we're starting it out down here. It goes up, it goes back down to that same y value. So this would be one cycle between 0 and 2. So now I know that the period is going to be equal to 2. Again, we're going to use the period formula, which is 2 pi over b. We know the period is 2. So we put that there. 2 equals 2 pi over b. Multiply both sides by b. So we get 2 times b equals 2 pi. Then we just divide both sides by 2. We get b is equal to just pi. Okay, so now we know uh, that that's that value. We need to find the a value. And we see from here that it goes up to 5 halves, but if you look at a regular cosine graph, just a normal y equals cosine x graph, 
it begins up here and it goes down and it goes up. This graph is actually flipped. So because it starts down here, our A value needs to be negative. So what we'll write is y equals negative five halves. It's a cosine graph because it doesn't go to the origin. Cosine, and it's gonna be pi x. So this is the equation for this graph. Now, if the graph started up here at positive five halves, then this would be positive five halves right there. Okay, but again, because it doesn't go to the origin, that's why we know it's a cosine graph. It's only a sine graph if it goes through the origin.